All right guys, what is up? It is Noah here. Welcome back to this explore. Today we're checking out this very cool abandoned bungalow. Looks like it was purchased out by a developer or by the uh, by Canada. It's very close to a major highway and I'm assuming that this space they assumed they would have needed maybe for like a carpool or something like that. So I believe that's why this house is sitting here. Looks like it was abandoned around 2010 to 2015. Uh, it's a pretty decent one though. So without further ado, let's get in there. Let's explore and uh, let's see what we can find. As you can see guys, the driveway is absolutely just overgrown. The entire property itself is overgrown. Nature has completely reclaimed this one. Like the front door is over there. And I'm just not feeling like walking through all that. Like, you know it's been abandoned a long time when there's full trees growing in front of the garage. Like that's not normal. There's another door right here. So you can see it's also very buried back there. We're gonna walk to the back just to see if it's uh, a little easier to get in. It's funny because they probably planted all of the, these like bushes and trees as this like, you know, landscaping for this property. And now because they haven't been tamed in like 10, 15 years, they're just like crazy huge. Exactly. Quite a bit of uh, property they had too. It's like walking through a jungle to get to this. It's a lot of those pokey plants. They like to stab you. Oh yeah. The house is overgrown. All right, so we're gonna start at the front door here, guys. Right away I noticed there's like a mirror right here, so I guess they could see who was coming. Wow, that's really stuck. There you go. So, I just wanted to show you that this place is insanely overgrown. Can't even get out the front door. Okay, seems like this is a bit more of a modern house than anything, but right away you can just see the amount of stuff that's been left behind. I guess they probably were religious. Orthopedic surgeon. They might have sold at a perfect time. It seems like they may have had some uh, health issues arising. Alrighty. So, this is the living room right here. Kind of weird, they have like a piece of plastic covering the window. I mean, the house is old enough that they still had um, Rogers video rentals. Or sorry, game rental, what was this? Need for, C Need for Speed Pro Street. You can see there's even more movies and stuff over there. Some bootleg ones from like a flea market and stuff. You can always tell when they're like super thin. It's just a cover. Pretty old um, tape player. Very modern though. Bunch of ties. Got the kitchen here. The walls are like dusty. <laughs> it's so weird. This 
box here is a neat little. What is it? Massage quackery from back in the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put those on your neck, let it shock you, and you're good. All right. With Brandon today, guys, so you can see him right there. What's going on, everybody? He uh, showed me this spot, so big shout out to him. Almost looks like they started painting the house just before they sold it. Like, it looks like they're packing up. They put, like, china and stuff away in here. It's kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't you bring that with you? Unless you had to leave really suddenly. Maybe they waited till the last day and they couldn't find somewhere to rent. And then all of a sudden it was the last minute. That's very possible. You can never tell. It's unfortunate that like half these houses you just never know the story of. Not a crazy big kitchen. Yeah, I feel like the last time this was lived in was like the like early 2000s. Got your CD player on the go, stuff like that. Oh gosh. Some Starbucks cups. Yo, what is this buff cow? What? <laughs> Lots of uh, stuff up in the cupboards here. Look at how old this craft dinner box is. When did it expire? Where does it say that it expired? That's the first one right here. So 2011 is when this expired, so probably about 10 years it's been abandoned. It's interesting too because there's still like clothes in the laundry baskets and stuff. Garage is really cool. Still smells like gasoline. Could probably assume that they had a uh, a van as their car with the seats that have been taken out here. sewing machine imperial precision built deluxe sewing machine always nice to see Two thousand eight is the last calendar in the garage here. Bunch of fluorescent tubes. What is this? 
spy vision scope. It's cool. I'm assuming this is a washroom. Yeah, it's pretty ripped apart though. Oof. Okay. So let's go to the bedrooms in the house. Pretty big washroom. I think this is the only one I've seen other than the small one there, so it makes sense it's the largest so far. Pretty smashed up. Pretty much looks like all of like the 90s to 2000s houses I've ever seen. photos. They're stuck together. Actually quite good photos these. Wow, look at all the trophies. What are they for? Soccer. Ajax Picker and Raiders. There's hockey, there's soccer. Interesting. The rest of the room is mostly just random, like stuff that they didn't care about or garbage. Medicine cabinet. Or personal care cabinet. Red curtains. I'm assuming this was the, uh, possibly the master bedroom here. It's got all the adult clothes, all the uh, dress shirts for the man of the home, I'm assuming. This box here looks like it has some uh, jackets inside of it. Yeah, mice have made a house in there. This is probably where all the ties actually were hanging before somebody threw it around. It's where there's like masking tape and stuff, so they must have been painting. Like it looks like they just finished painting these uh, door frames. Not the biggest bedroom ever, but you know, not digging through that. That's like a box of like socks and underwear. I'm not doing that. It's like three mattresses in here. Another box of uh, underwear. And another family photo. Okay, there's nothing on those ones. All right. What is this? 
This is a $95 watt or a tie. Who's buying this? Okay. We can head down to the basement now. This fast acting, long lasting bathroom reader. <laughs> Got like random origins, cheerleaders, kazoos, Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> it's the most random stuff you'd ever read. Well, different topic for each turd, I guess. <laughs> Make you laugh at it a lot quicker. <laughs> you just. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the basement. It looks rough. Oh god, it's full of stuff down here. Pretty big basement, actually. How long do you think that rotary phone's been sitting down here? Was this a propane tank? Gotta be strategical here, guys. There's like, <laughs> there's like cobwebs everywhere. Some old furniture sitting here. I can feel that it's wet down here, so I'm assuming that this floods every so often. Like there's actual dirt stuck to the ground down here. And like it just smells damp, if that makes any sense. See they renovated and they uh, pulled up all their carpet. I would guess that they were somewhat handy, whoever lived here. There's another uh, <laughs> washroom book. Yeah, got cobwebs all over me. Introduction to horse riding. Just off of the amount of books they had in here, it seems like they were very um, ready and willing to learn new things. Kind of have to be in this day and age now. Can't really just do be good at one thing anymore. Look at this, all the uh, World Poker Tour, all the chips on the ground here. It's cool. I'd say that that's pretty much the basement, guys. Got some more glasses that were packed up. Or they just never took them out. But like, it looks like they were going to, like, kitchen. I think they were gonna move out and they just decided to leave all the stuff or maybe they just passed away suddenly. Cause like, it's kind of weird that they have boxes still just uh, ready to go. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this explore of this pretty cool abandoned bungalow, I guess. Yeah. Abandoned bungalow. Lots of personal stuff left behind. I believe that they just sold off to uh, 
the highway that was being built and then the land just never ended up getting used. But tell me in the comments below, what do you think happened here? Do you think they were bought out? Do you think they just up and left? Uh, big thank you to everybody that's watched the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.